He tried the roller coaster ride the first time. He did not like it. He tried it a second time. He still did not like it. They say, third time's the charm. He went back in line. The lines for roller coasters were long. Everybody he knew loved riding roller coasters. Everybody loved them except him. He thought roller coasters were terrifying. He did not know what the big deal was. Why risk your life, he thought. He was waiting in line. People in line were impatient, but he was not. The line moved forward. His turn for the ride came. He was strapped on the roller coaster. Please keep your hands and legs together, he was told. The roller coaster began moving. It slowly ascended to the top. It plummeted to the bottom. He vomited all over himself. The big race was tomorrow. He would be competing with people from other schools. It was his first big race. He was worried, but he was also excited. He was the fastest boy in his school, and he had been training for months. He had been running for a long time. He joined track when he was in middle school. He loved running. He ran everywhere. He ran to the market to pick up groceries. He ran to school in the mornings. He ran back home after school. He ran to his friend's house. His friends lived far away. He did not mind running. Running was his passion. It was the night before the race. He had a good night's sleep. In the morning, he woke up ready. The race was in a couple of hours. He got ready. He was not nervous anymore. He was prepared to race. Everybody has friends. Some people have many friends. Others have only a few. Alex had many friends. He liked making friends. Every day he made new friends. Alex was good at making friends. He was good at small talk. He was not at all shy. Alex made friends everywhere he went. He made friends at the store. Shopping for food? He asked a stranger. I sure am, the stranger said. Alex continued talking to the person. He had made a new friend. He made friends at the bank. Making a deposit? He asked another stranger. Yes, sir, the stranger replied. A conversation followed. Making friends was easy for Alex. He was a friendly guy. Everybody who knew Alex liked him. Everybody that Alex knew was his friend. Alex did not know any strangers. If he met one, they quickly became friends. Alex wanted to have all the friends in the world. Susan had a garden. She planted fruits and vegetables. The garden was in her backyard. Her backyard was wide and long. She had plenty of space. Susan's garden took up most of the space. Her garden grew several kinds of fruits. It grew watermelons, grapes, strawberries, avocados, oranges, and papaya. Some fruits grew from the ground. Others grew on trees. 
Susan's garden also grew several kinds of vegetables. It grew tomatoes, potatoes, squash, carrots, and eggplants. Susan was proud of her garden. She worked hard to maintain it. Every day, she watered her garden. Her fruits and vegetables tasted great. It was because of her care and love. Everybody in her neighborhood ate from her garden. Susan sold the fruits and vegetables at low prices. She made good profit. Susan did not sell it all. She always kept enough for herself. She knew that fruits and vegetables were good for her health. He dreamed a lot. He had good dreams. He had bad dreams. Sometimes he had strange dreams. He dreamed he was a cowboy. He rode a horse and gunned down bandits. He dreamed of being an astronaut. He orbited the Earth in a spaceship with zero gravity. These were good dreams. He dreamed he was in a room full of people. In the dream, he was naked. Everybody in the room laughed at him. He dreamed he was on a boat in the middle of the ocean. He was lost at sea. The boat was sinking. These were bad dreams. He dreamed of unknown places, places that seemed bizarre. He dreamed of worldly creatures that looked like humans. These were weird dreams. His dreams were fascinating. He wondered what they meant. He wrote down his dreams in his journal. He kept it safe in a box.